Yo, what's up everybody? We are back for episode 7 of Diamond is Unbreakable. Diamonds are forever. And last episode, Koichi, his stand finally manifested itself um, in order to protect his family. Uh, this dude who had this crazy stand called the lock. And essentially, the more guilt you feel, the heavier oh, yeah, the lock he got annoying. on you. It was really crazy and, and annoying. He was smart in the way he utilized his stand. He Dang. was just an annoying character. Uh, but Koichi stand manifested itself and it can attack you with sound. So like there's, comic book sound. Yeah, but there's also some some depth to it because he was able to snap it's his layers. mom out of it. Yeah. yeah, he was able to snap his mom out he of feeling guilt. He was able to guilt. communicate with his mom's inner inner like yeah, conscience with sound that was trapped so that hit it with. i'm sure we'll get a little bit more information on whatever is going on regarding his stand or exactly what it is i still feel like it changes his personality as well as his appearance so i guess we'll find a little bit more about that but let's jump right into episode seven here <laughs> About to take a potato chip and eat it. Is he about to stab himself with that? What the hell? Why? Wow, he's really working with them now. Got bullied. Oh, he probably is the one that made his friend stab himself in the eye. You're right. Wow. Jesus. Yeah, and it's like. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah. yeah, I can call your info on the question. Master Koichi. I know, but it's just funny. They bullied him into that. I like that guy's design. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He gave you the business, bro. Out of there. Yep. He don't want no parts of that. See what happens when you go around giving random niggas stands? Yeah. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he can fix it. Relax. I like how are you gonna cover him if he walks down the hall and sees his locker like that? It's like, oh yeah, <laughs> ignore that. Yeah. Just throwing his shit out? Rude. Look at all his shonen jump. Dude. Is that a dummy? <laughs> I thought it was a stand too. Yeah, but I think it has something to do. Jesus, it's a fucking stand. Oh yeah. my god. I knew that thing had something to do with him and his powers. That's yeah, him. That's a dummy. No, that. What? That's why he was able to get the guy to stab himself in the eye. I knew it had to be some type of voodoo. Wow, so cheap. Crunch! The crunch noise! Yo, he's done! Oh, crazy Diamond! Mom. What can Crazy Diamond do against us, though? How did I have knocked out like a Pokemon? That is so convenient! 
man who's short range. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! Him. No, he's gonna come stab himself! Oh. Jesus! Oh. Koichi, wake up! Koichi, come on! Oh my god! Yes! Or. Or no? Oh, yeah, Koichi hit him with something. Clutch. Okay. No, did his stand act on its own? It's possible. Yeah, he still uses his stand. Yeah. Oh, no, he didn't know. Oh, nice. Oh, no, he did do it. Yeah, he did use it. Okay. He was saying, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah. You're the reason why I could use it. Right? Like, the body, the rest of my body is bludgeoned. <laughs> You're just going to leave it like that? Yeah, I fixed your face. You're good to go with your yeah, broken right? ribs and everything else. Babe. Yeah. That was the that wasn't the one in the magazine, right? In the beginning? I don't think so. I I, I wasn't paying attention that close to that. They already called him. <laughs> But he's not an idiot. I think he's gonna think something suspicious about that. <laughs> I would have just ran to the, the front of the hotel and waited for him to come out. What the hell? That's like very detailed. Right? <laughs> Clapped him in his head with a cinder block. Uh, I don't really feel bad for him still. <laughs> Is he dead? Probably knocked out. But I mean, he busts him in the back of the head with a brick. He might be dead. Because <laughs> he's handsome. And you look like Willard. So salty. He's jealous of his stand. Yep, wood. Dumbass. Dude, just... he's irrational. <laughs> and try <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he would have got some nasty splinters along with that. That's freaking gross. He was like a dying cricket. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna delay him though. Wow! Wow! No, box cutter? Bro, this kid has to die. Somebody stop him! <laughs> Please, somebody stop this guy. Thank you. Wow. Yep, they stalled too long. Oh. Wow! Oh. 
That's a nice way to use the stairs. Yeah, yeah, it is. Because he, he has hit, a plan. He hit the guy on his head still with that mark. He forgot about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That thing on his forehead would be a giveaway though. The nail? Yeah. Oh wow, they made him think a train was coming. <laughs> that is clutch. Yeah. They can use him to just set people up. <laughs> He's filling him in. There he goes right there. Yeah. <laughs> Scum. Oh, there's a turtle. She the turtle's a stand, I think. Where they're just referencing the just, one who saved him. I think you're just looking too deep into that. <laughs> but that's the, the turtle that he fixed in the first episode. <laughs> Bruh. He's trying to use him to yeah, attack him. Yeah, he's using him. him. He's in range. Oh. That's all it takes. <gasps> Yo! Oh my god! <laughs> Too bad Star Platinum is mad fast. <laughs> he underestimates Star Platinum. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Nope. Oh, wow. <laughs> Unexpected. Unexpected. Jotaro would have died. Oh, he doesn't remember. Oh wow, he told them, he yep. told them what he'd be. Get fucked. Oh, they gotta take him to that restroom treatment. <laughs> yeah, they gotta beat the shit out of him. They rape him wow. in the back. <laughs> okay, that's dark. They're not gonna rape him. Yeah, How do you know? There goes that. Oh, okay, oh, he's not he's dead. Okay. Look at that. Left him there in the dirt. Everybody's going to the hospital. Yep. Oh, right now, Chili Pepper. Ah! That's a problem. Oh my god. This thing is going around giving absolutely everybody stand powers. And that kid was terrible. That kid was, was the worst. Well, he was on the level of Angelo. Well, they said they were possibly the more stronger the stand, so that's why they look like pe they look for pieces of crap. Yeah, he was almost on the level of Angelo. This kid was about to cut this guy's face open with a box cutter. Like, he was even attacking his own stand because he was jealous. Completely irrational decision making. And attacked his friend for not liking his favorite artist. So irrational. Wow. Lots of creativity with this episode, the way Koichi used his stand, the way... I think the, the stands, the way that they've evolved in general, have become much more creative. Yeah, and it's not just so surface level, no pun intended, but it's the way Koichi used his stand to trick them with the sound, making them think a, a train was coming. That the was way, very creative. The way um, he used Crazy Diamond to to reconstruct the glass bottle and chop the hand off of the doll, and also fix the dude's wounds and sick them on um, Hazamada because he knew that he would pull up on him. It's like this challenging my intelligence now. I'm going to have to start thinking outside yeah, the box. Yeah, it's not as easy as it was to figure shit out or no. be like, oh, this is going to happen. Yeah, I'm going to have to yeah. start really thinking outside the box. Yeah, wow, great episode, guys. Well, on to the next. As always, like, subscribe, follow on all socials. At Yaboroshi, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, subscribe to Shiro. Link is down below. And check out the merch world link today is also down below. But that's all we got for you guys today. Hope you have a great day, and we will catch you guys next time. Peace!